Uh, your film clearly puts the spotlight on a, a very tragic and ugly piece of our history. Mm -hmm. I'm curious, what kind of hurdles did you have to clear not only to get this movie made, but ultimately into theaters? Well, getting it made well, essentially was relatively easy in that we had one source of uh, funding, Kirk Kerkorian, the great Armenian businessman who passed away, sadly, two years ago. He was determined that a film of this scope and structure would be made particularly because the, the, the story had been suppressed, both in movies and in the media over the last 100 years. So getting it made, the difficulties were logistically. We had 70 days to shoot this huge vista of a movie. Getting it into theaters, it's not a film that distributors or uh, studios were jumping up and down to release, but I think they saw the potential of it. And our producers are so determined that they were able to get Open Road, which is a great distributor, to put it out across the country. So we had a movement going on that really helped that this story get out there. Why did you feel like this was important enough to deal with all that and put on your suit of armor and get it done? Well, every film I've done has been a pushback. I did three movies about the Irish Troubles and then the Hotel Rwanda about the Rwandan genocide. But that pushback actually invigorates me. It, these are stories that need to be told and told in a way that a mass audience can come to see and enjoy as a piece of entertainment if they're not particularly interested in the subject because we have a great love story going on in the center of this. It's the best form of education if you look at Schindler's List, The Killing Fields, Hotel Rwanda, Missing, they all, the English patient, they all tell an important story uh, as a backdrop for uh, a human drama. For such a deep, uh, you know, meaningful, poignant story, I, I imagine it was a bit of a, a balancing act, using mm -hmm. a love story as the thread to tie this all together. Mm -hmm. What were some of the keys of uh, finding the way to do this both appropriately and accurately? The accuracy of it, uh, you know, resting on these great events, I studied, I went to uh, Armenia, to Yerevan, I went to Istanbul. There's a mountain of uh, historical commentary on it which I plunged into, as did the actors. So those big events that they walk through are really important. But the core of it is the, the love story. And with that, you know, you want to work at, at capturing these characters and their different emotions and the great sort of love between Mikael and Anna, which is denied throughout the film. They're both in love with someone else. And that's, you know, that's a situation I think everybody can <laughs> empathize with. You know, you mentioned the others, the, you know, Hotel Rwanda, mm -hmm. which was yours. When mm -hmm. you did that film, what were some of maybe the things that you took away from that that you were able to bring into this film as you put this into the world? Well, that, that the ordinary man and woman, when confronted with a horrific uh, situation, can dig deep into themselves and find the courage to survive and, and uh, help others. So it's it. There, all my films are about the triumph of the human spirit over evil, uh, and and that was the case in Hotel Rwanda and likewise here on a much bigger scale.